Hey guys, uh, welcome back to our repair guys today. A very unusual video guys. While working here on the car, taking the engine apart, we noticed that the little fridge at the shop doesn't get cold anymore. And we decided to give it a try and see if we can fix it ourselves. So we did some research guys and I know every one of you most likely has a fridge at the house, at the shop. So I want to share some really good information with you. How to test the thermostat. 90% of the time when a fridge stops working it's because of that little thing that's very inexpensive. They usually range between 10 to 20, 30 bucks. For our model here I paid only 10.80 for that thermostat. Okay for the new one here. Now how you test them guys? What could happen in that thermostat is either get stuck open or stuck closed. If it's open what happens the fridge will run all the time and it, it's going to get too too cold it will freeze everything inside that's not good because your uh, your electric bill will go really high because the, the fridge will not turn off the second most common thing is the fridge will not work at all if you have a light inside the light will work but the fridge will not uh, will not keep uh, cold temperature at all because the compressor will not kick in so usually on the side you have two wires and you might have two extra ones or one. One of them is just a ground wire. Usually the green one I know this is a ground wire. And then you have a black and white in most cases. And this is for the, uh, for the wire going towards the uh, uh, AC compressor. Because the fridge is kind of like the car. It has a compressor that uh, gets, uh, gets cold and it cools everything off. Now, what happens when the thermostat turns on? Okay, it's going to make a connection between this and this wire and the electricity will go to the compressor. Now, if, uh, if uh, the thermostat closes, what happens when the fridge gets too cold and it turns off, okay, so it doesn't work and burn electricity, uh, it's going to break the connection between these two. So, when we turn it on, okay, I'm going to connect both wires of the multimeter here. Okay, check it out now. And I'm going to test it for continuity. Okay, right here. So if we have good connection, okay, if I touch this one to this one now, just the clips, let me show you, you're going to hear the beep. Okay, and that we have connection. Now that should happen when the thermostat is open, when it's working. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead, okay, turn it here now in all different positions and it doesn't work. Now, let me show you how the new one performs compared to the old one now. Now you can see there is no connection at all. And that's off all the way. At off, it should be that way. When you turn it on, it should have connection. So I'll just get the button from the, okay, from the old one and install it on the new one now so I can go ahead and turn it. I connected the wires on the side just like I did to the other one. Okay, and now the thing is off. Okay, and listen now when I turn it on. There is connection. You can see all the way up. Now, if I turn it off, the connection should be lost. Okay, and this one is way tight. So, okay, right there. So, that's how you guys test it. When you have it in off position, you shouldn't have connection. When you have it on, like one, two, three, four, five, depending on what uh, uh, what digit you put it on, depending how cold you want it, it should show something here because uh, otherwise it doesn't work. So just quick video guys, hopefully the video was helpful. Thank you for watching, see you guys next time.